Uh, I'm sorry, are you here to see me? No, silly. I go here. You, you go where? Harvard. Law school. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? I feel comfortable using legal jargon in everyday life. I object. Hi, I'm Elle Woods, and this is Brizzle Roots, and we're both Gemini vegetarian. Harvard Law School. What, like it's hard? Thank you, little Toby. He's an excellent actor, right? Mwah. Hello, my beautiful darlings. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day today, and thank you so much for watching. Today, we're going to talk about being feminine and ambitious, expressing your femininity at work. And we're going to take the amazing example that is Elle Woods in Legally Blonde. That is why I'm wearing pink. Yes, we love pink. Yes, ladies, you can be a bombshell, you can be feminine, and you can be smart. And you can be ultra feminine lady and be ultra successful and be a businesswoman and be a lawyer and be anything you desire. We are going to analyze this movie a little bit and we're going to talk about how to express your femininity at work because this is really, I think, the hardest place to express your femininity because obviously at work, mostly what you need is your masculine energy. But I have some advice for you, so if you want to know more, keep on watching. But first, just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content, I talk about fashion, femininity, old Hollywood glamour, elegance, and anything to level up and to make you become the best version of yourself and to truly transform yourself into a very elegant and feminine lady. Feel free to join the channel, the link is down below, and also follow me on my fabulous Instagram. Let's talk about the movie first, Elle Woods. I mean, she is such an icon of femininity and I cannot believe I waited so long to do a video about her because she is the feminine lady. She's highly feminine, highly dressed in pink. I love pink. I mean, this pink tweed cord is absolute perfection. I mean, ladies, let's add even more pink and add my robe next to me. I mean, she is too fabulous not to be in a video. So Elle Woods has a bubbly personality. I'm able to recall hundreds of important details at the drop of a hat. Hey Elle, do you know what happened on Days of Our Lives yesterday? Why yes, Margot, I do. Once again, we join Hope in the search for her identity. As you know, she's been brainwashed by the evil Stefano. She is a girly girl that is part of a sorority and she's a very close to her feminine friends. I mean, I love the fact that they are all together, cheering each other, they're always there for each other. It's like this feminine sisterhood that I love to see in a movie instead of seeing women fighting against each other. Aren't you also tired of seeing women being catty to each other, jealous of each other in movies and kind of in competition? I love to see when women are not like that, when women are just really into this healthy, beautiful friendship. because that is what we need as examples, all together supporting each other. Girls, I'm going to Harvard. You mean like on vacay? Let's all go road trip! And she has this soft femininity in her. And at the beginning of the movie, we see that her boyfriend broke up with her. I think I we do. should break up. <sighs> what? Well, I've been thinking about it, and I think it's the right thing to do up with me she is not smart enough for him stereotyping her as like the dumb blonde as the kind of barbie that is not very intelligent stereotyping the highly feminine woman as not being smart and also having this comparison between jackie kennedy and marilyn monroe saying that oh i need a jackie and not a marilyn if i'm gonna be a senator well i need to marry a jackie not a marilyn <laughs> So you're breaking up with me because I'm too blonde? Which is really interesting because actually Marilyn was highly, highly intelligent in case you know a little bit more about her. But it's really funny when you see highly feminine women, when you see women that own their sensuality, that own their femininity, 
that take care of themselves, that love makeup, that love pink, you have the stereotype of women that are not smart, which I don't understand how you cannot do both. Like who decided that you cannot love makeup and pink and at the same time be a successful lawyer and being extremely smart? Saying that you're one or the other, which you see a lot with men and like a lot with people in general, they tend to stereotype that women cannot be both a bombshell and intelligent which I assure you ladies, you can be. Either you are a Jackie and you're respectable and you are intelligent, but you are not desirable and lusted by men, or you are Marilyn and you are desirable, sexy, lusted by men, but you are not intelligent and respectable. But this movie shows that you can be both. You can be both a bombshell, feminine and brilliant. I wanna say my first advice to express your femininity at work is that you will have those type of people that will stereotype you, that will think that you're not professional if you're too feminine, if you express your femininity too much, that will think that they can take advantage of you or that you are not intelligent. No. Come on, you're never gonna get the grades to qualify for one of those spots. You're not smart enough, sweetie. Wait, am I on glue or did we not get into the same law school, Warner? My first advice would be don't let anybody put down your absolute beautiful femininity. The strength of Elle Woods in this movie is that she did not let the stereotype of people stopped her from achieving whatever she wanted to achieve. There's nothing I love more than a dumb blonde with daddy's plastic. It's impossible to use a half loop top stitching on low viscosity rayon. It would snag the fabric. So if you're trying to sell it to me for full price, you picked the wrong girl. She had confidence in herself, which is so important, ladies. She really believed in herself. And that is the thing, you need to believe in yourself. The other people, we don't care. We don't care about them. We don't care about their opinion. And in case you want to see, I have a video about how to be an unbothered queen in case you really want to know how to not care about what people think. At first, her goals are about to impress a guy because she wants to get into Harvard to prove to her ex that she is intelligent and that he should get back with her. This is the type of girl that Warner wants to marry. This is what I need to become to be serious. What? Practically deformed? No. A law student. And, but then her character developed and, and she discovered that she doesn't want to do that for men anymore. She wants to do that for herself. And for that matter, all masturbatory emissions where his sperm was clearly not seeking an egg could be termed reckless abandonment. I believe you've just won your case. Also, what I love about Elle is that at the end, she kept her dignity. And even when he wants to go back with her, she does not accept him. Because let's be honest, he did not deserve Elle. Elle is fabulous. And you are the girl for me. Really? Yes. Pooh Bear, I love you. But if I'm going to be a partner in a law firm by the time I'm 30, I need a boyfriend who's not such a complete bonehead. This is the thing also, ladies. In case you have a man that does not see your value, that does not see how smart you are, that does not understand how precious, how much of a precious diamond you are, you keep your dignity. And in case he come back, do you like Elle Woods? No. I want a man that see my value and that appreciate it. Harvard, law school, what, like it's hard? Also, her classmates were making fun of her and they were so snobbish. I mean, they were probably from very rich family, spoiled kids that think they know everything about anything. I've come to join your study group. And look, I brought sustenance. Who's first? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Our group is full. I mean, I don't like this energy that's just judgmental and putting down others just because they're different from you. This is not the vibe. They made fun of her because of her blonde hair, her bimbo appearance, her pink outfit, and her feminine light spirit, which is a real strength in this world that is always you know, a bit more negative. Oh, two weeks ago, I saw Cameron Diaz at Fred Siegel and I talked her out of buying this truly heinous Angora sweater. Whoever said orange was the new pink was seriously disturbed. <laughs> 
I think this word really need some light feminine fun and bubbly ladies to just bring some pink and joy and flowers in this word that really needed this gloomy word you know just bring out the pink my advice number two is to not forget to take time for you i agree Elle Woods was focused on her studies you are probably really also ambitious and focused on your studies or on your work or on achieving your goals which is wonderful and i love that but i mean take also time for you to nourish your femininity you can see in the movie that Elle was is studying she's focused but at the same time she's working out she is doing her hair her makeup she takes a bath she sees her friend and she goes to the salon doing her nails and doing her hair but at the same time she has a book and she's studying so she's very efficient with her time and it does not mean that you have to be wonder woman and do everything perfectly as women we get a lot of pressure from society but i feel like it's really important to still take some time for you Otherwise, you can become completely crazy if you're working non-stop or studying non-stop. Like sometimes slow down, take a day for you, a day or two days even in the week for you to focus on enjoying your hobby or doing something feminine for you, mm, embracing your feminine self. And in that way, you put yourself as a priority which is not something bad, it is something necessary when you are an ambitious and feminine lady. Number three, darlings, you need to be organized. You need to know that at this time, you're going to do that. You can have a little planner to kind of plan your day. You know, Elle Woods, she was organized. She was very efficient with her time, as I said. While she was doing her nails, she was listening to audio. So. It's that efficiency that saves you a lot of time. And that's what you need to do. You need to be organized. Otherwise, you cannot achieve everything you want to achieve. So when I say take time for you, you also need to plan that particular time that is for you. I know it is difficult to do it all. And I want to say that ladies that do it all, yes, darlings, you are incredible. Take also time to eat, take also time to sleep properly. Have a nice organization that is realistic, that you can follow, that you feel like is really achievable for you. I feel like my next advice would be that not everything can be perfect. I'm a perfectionist myself. When you are highly ambitious, you and especially as women, we have a tendency to become perfectionist. It causes a lot of stress in you, which can also prevent you from feeling in your feminine. As I told you in my video on things that destroy your feminine energy, stress and stressful situation is a big thing. But to reduce stress, I feel like it's also reducing our perfectionism. Next is find the right balance. Find the right balance between your divine masculine and your divine feminine. Acknowledge both energies and love them both. I love talking about femininity on my channel, but we have also, as women, and especially when you're working, our beautiful masculine energy. And they're both really, really useful. Because if you were constantly, constantly in your feminine, you would basically do nothing. <laughs> because the feminine is basically just a bit chaotic like enjoying the time and not really caring about the time like there's no time with the feminine so when you want to achieve things and do things it's more the masculine but when you sense that okay you use too much of your masculine and you just feel drained that you feel stressed aggressive exhausted do something to calm you i have a video about feminine activity that can help you make you feel in your feminine. I will link it below. You can see that Elle Woods find the right balance between her masculine and her feminine, that most of the time actually Elle Woods is able to be in her feminine. You can see it. She's mostly bubbly, most playful spirit, this gentle, soft spirit. Oh my God, that is so sweet of you. You think I'm an intern? I guess that anti-wrinkle all salmon diet really works. But sometimes, She's also assertive. When she has to perform as a lawyer, 
she is more assertive in her masculine energy. Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thyglocolate? She embraces both and she finds the right balance. And I want to say a woman in her feminine energy exudes a charm that is almost like you are around a magical creator. You feel amazing in front of a feminine lady. And ladies, you can use that specific delicious magnetic energy at work as well. When you're kind, smooth energy, helpful, you can also obtain a lot of things. Woods, welcome. Hi. Hi. Oh, I haven't seen you since the alumni meeting. I know, meeting. how are you? <laughs> Good. When you smile more, when you accept criticism with grace, maturity, and elegance, you are seen as actually more competent because you keep your calm and your dignity and your elegance. Elegance just makes you seen as so much more intelligent, you know, calm and balanced. Also, I would say have a feminine environment at work. It really helps you surround yourself with feminine things around you at work. You can add some colors, you can add a beautiful plant, you can add some decor, some little pictures, some flowers, some scent, some scented candles, like some pink pencil, you know, <laughs> if you have to write something, you can use like a really funny feathery pencil, like some feathers, some artwork, some beautiful decor, some glitter. <laughs> It will help you feel a lot more feminine when you're surrounded by, you know, pink feather and just beautiful things and it's just fabulous and you feel like a little princess around her desk. Also, ladies, of course, I feel like if you can, dressing feminine and looking feminine will help you be in the mood. I mean, like Elwood in the movie is doing that a lot. She doesn't hesitate to wear feminine clothes, to wear dresses, to wear pink, to wear even professional attires, but still in a feminine silhouette with a little bow or a little accessories, like a little bag, something that look still like her, really, really feminine. In the second movie, she doesn't hesitate to wear a beautiful tailored suit that is pink and tweed and fabulous looking like Jackie Kennedy when she arrives is just perfection. Like wearing feminine colors, feminine details, accessories, some little earrings, your hair, any detail can really add into your feminine allure and really make you feel more feminine even at work. Also ladies, I feel like avoiding drama, like avoid the negativity. If people are negative, just let them be. Sharing too much information also I feel like is not really a good idea at work you want to keep it clean professional simple and just really pleasant keeping it elegant keeping it appropriate thank you so much for watching my beautiful darlings i hope you liked it and i hope it was helpful for you let me know in the comments if you have other suggestion on how to keep your femininity at work my lovely ladies that are working or even in school and university i would love to hear what you have to say and let's have a discussion in the comment section don't forget to subscribe and like the video and also don't forget to follow me on my instagram and take care and until next time i'm giving you a lot of kisses my darlings Mwah.